The owners of the Realty Tower have decided to demolish the building after the deadly explosion this month. At this moment, the owners say they have concerns about the safety of the building and being able to stabilize it. To illustrate how a demolition of a building like that in the middle of a downtown would play out, we have Youngstown State School of Engineering professor Dr. Anwar Islam joining us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you take us through what considerations will have to be made to decide, you know, how they go about demolishing this building? Well, if you look at the explosion, it was a moderate explosion, but the explosion actually damaged the ground floor that worked as a diaphragm to prevent the swaying of the building. And now because of the damage in the beams, uh, the the beams are actually uh, um, cross connected with the columns. So it lost one way beam. As a result, uh, the beams actually on, on double height, double the height that what it was designed for. And as a result of that, the columns are more vulnerable to failure at the present conditions. So because of these two issues, it is hard to determine whether this building is or can be retrofitted or not. Yeah. And if you, even if you can, how do you send people knowing that this building is unsafe? It can fail anytime, any moment. Do you believe residents will be able to get back in and get their belongings? Or do you think that's probably not going to be an option? I do not suggest that because the building, I hope it is stayed that way, but the building is very unpredictable condition. It's in a severely damaged conditions. So it is the, it will be very unwise to send people inside the building. How costly would a demolition of this size be and how do they protect other buildings and the rest of the downtown around it? Okay, there are controlled demolition procedures and they should be able to follow that procedure. Then the building can implode itself and then go down instead of spreading outward. So that can prevent the nearby damage as a result of the demolition of the building. So that can be protected, that can be done. Now, the NTSB report just came out. This is their first of, they say, many more um, on the explosion. And they say the Realty Building is in, quote, eminent danger of collapse. But it seems like the city and the owners are dragging their feet in, in some regards. Some folks are saying, well, why take so much time? What has to be considered in the middle before you decide on this demolition versus weighing potential danger? Well, it is a thing I will tell you. I gave two interviews in uh, another TV stations, and on the on the June second, I said the same thing as I said in June 14, and that's exactly what came out as the engineers' evaluation by B and H, and it is the similar thing that NTSB is coming up with. The building is in imminent danger. We cannot risk people's life to send the, to send to retrofit the building. So, I. I don't see a possible way of retrofitting this building since we can't send people to work inside the building because it has been damaged and it can fail anytime. And the city just came out with a statement this week saying they met with the leaders and of the building, the owners of that building, and they told them their decision to rip it down. So we'll see how fast that maybe happens. I really appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here on 21 News at 5.